Hey guys, I got this yesterday at 9, 10, 23, um, around 2.45 in the afternoon. And um, it's called Looking Forward. And it has subheaders of The Generation, Tribes, Heaven, God's Timing, Prayer of Humility, and Rejoice Now. Number one, The Generation. Many days have come and gone. The prophecies of old are at your doorstep. The next events will be glorious. The church come to life. The church in full display. The second Pentecost. Oceans of people have come to me through my son Jesus, the one and only Messiah. All have looked for the miraculous times of the minor prophets that tell of the triumph of Israel. Rejoice! You are the generation to see and experience these times. Number two, tribes. My anointed, you all have genetic links to those that lead for this time. All my tribe of Benjamin that are currently ready, you have royal blood. My faithful, Many of you have tribal blood as well, not of the tribe of Benjamin, but to a different tribe. You have many blessings awaiting when you come to me. Each tribe has special roles to play in the end times harvest, as well as in my son's kingdom, the thousand year reign. Study my face and learn of me. When I speak, hear me. You are my family, connected to the 12 tribes of Israel. You do not see it, but when you can, it will be shown to you. You will meet your tribe leaders from the ancient times, and you will have new tribe leaders from this generation. Look forward to what is to come. Stay focused on the positive. So many fascinating relatives through time. You will have eternity to meet and share bread and rejoice together. Number three, heaven. Heaven is very traditional in that it is real, handcrafted, made of real elements, perfectly throughout, each detail efficient and useful. Heaven is also much more advanced than where you live. Yes, it is easy to see that your world has recently created technology. This offers things that seem modern and efficient to you, more so than any other time. But compared to heaven, earth is very primitive. You have much to look forward to. Keep your gaze on me, Jesus, and heaven. Although I made your world with my son, all of its natural beauty, it has been tainted by sin. All things that were in motion for my people had to be halted when sin entered and I cursed man and beast. The days are nearing the end of the curse. The eternal city will be the blessing that I intended. No corruption. Advanced and complex things you cannot grasp now no death, everyone with the love, joy, and peace of my son, which spurs on every other excellent thing for your soul. I so look forward to you being here. I wish now for you to see your completed self, but it shall wait until you are here. Many days have passed, the end begins. Hold on a little longer, church. Keep hope alive. The peace of the world that all enjoy is about to be taken away. The only peace will be for those fully in me. Be at peace. I, the Lord God, keep my own in perfect peace. Shalom. Number four, God's timing. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. The elders bow before my throne. The incense of your prayers fills the throne room. The angels attend to their scrolls, trumpets, and bowls. Things will unfold as I see fit. 
not how man estimates. All will come to pass that is prophesied in the Bible and by the prophets over time, but none will occur exactly how humans think it will. See each step I have given you, things to occur. Each are a step closer to coming home to heaven. Do not see the events man puts forth in the time of sorrows as sadness or sorrows. Recall with each of man's attempts to discourage and bring fear and chaos, I will replace this with unseen wonders and miracles, their best effort at evil to become my artist's palette. Have no fears. This is where the story gets good. This is where my church comes to life. This is where my fame becomes renowned for the whole world to understand. I am, I am the authority of creation, the everlasting, the sinless one, the one of all love and all justice. Rejoice. All is in place. I am the Lord God Almighty. I do not lie. Mine have only joy to look forward to. Keep focused. The world needs you to be focused. I need you to be focused. Your skills, gifts, and hopes all needed to spare most of humanity. Read the word, worship, pray fervently. The church begins the most important chapter next. Number five, prayer for humility. God, forgive us in our pride and lack of faith. We live in an evil generation where mediocrity seems good. We live in a time that few know how to think about you. Help us to see you for you. Help us to have awe. Help us to recall to listen and follow and to recall we do not know. Help us to actually give over all of our cares to you. Please forgive us. Bring us into the maturity we need to be in in order to be seen as worthy in your sight and how you see us in our potential. You are worthy of all praise. You are worthy of all honor. You are worthy of all adoration. Help us to honor you properly. Teach us. God, give the church peace. Help us to walk in unity and love without selfishness. Help us to serve others in or out of our comfort zone. God, carry us in our weakness. We simply cannot do it in our own strength. We do not even know what we do not know. In humility, we request you carry us through in the sorrows without sadness or despair. God, use us to show the world of your great power and love. We love you. We ask this in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Number six, rejoice now. You do not have to wait till the battle is over. You can trust it is how I say and rejoice now. This holds true no matter the issue. When you ask me in full faith, I set things to action. It doesn't mean a solution will occur as you see fit. It doesn't mean it will happen in your timing, but it does mean that it is done. I see the end when you ask, and I set my teams to work for your best solution as I see fit. This is also true for the time of sorrows and the great tribulation. I have already seen the defeat. It is recorded in the annals of time, but the events are still to play out. How can this be? I see all, I know all, I see all times, I know all possibilities. My time is not understandable by you, accept it. But my final authority and the end being one for the church is already final. It has been seen as it will occur. 
In this time when the events are yet to play out, you will watch them unfold. Recall all I have told you. Recall the events are in your favor. Recall nothing you see from the day of the human uprising and after that is scripted already by the kings will be as they say. The deceit is all horror and evil for control, but no harms will be in existence for my own. My own receive my miracles and protections. Anything man takes, you will be repaid tenfold. Anything man harms will be restored. Men will not harm my faithful. These are mine. Mine are kept in full safety. Do not allow your eyes to deceive you. Do not let men's efforts discourage or dismay. Focus on me. We have already won. Walk in this victory. You have my authority to be confident. Be of my work. Be found in service. Be found faithful. The battle is already won. Rejoice. I hope you find that encouraging and I'll see you next time.